Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting algebra question. What is bigger? 2022 to the 2023 power and 2023 to the 2022 power. If you feel an answer, write your answer in a comment, write your suggestion in a comment. And let's go to solve this. Okay, first of all, it will be good to simplify this a little bit because it's so hard to to feel the answer, to know the answer. Let's try to simplify this a little bit. For sure, if we have an exponential part, we use a log from both of the side. I wanna lo I wanna use a natural log. So, natural log of 2022 to the 2023 power and natural log on the right as well. 2023 to the 2022 power. Okay. We know the property that these jump on the left and these as well. So I will get 2023 times natural log of 2022 and 2022 times natural log 2023. Yeah, nothing hard. Okay, what we're gonna do next? I want to suggest you a DV division. Let's divide both sides by by a product 2022 times 2023. Okay, what we'll receive on the left? 2023 times natural log 2022 all over our product 2022 times 2023 on the left and let's do the thing on the right. Nothing hard. 2022 times natural log of 2023 all over 2022 times 2023. Okay, for sure we can cancel this, we can cancel, cancel, cancel this and we will receive natural log of 2022 all over 2022 and natural log 2023 all over 2023. So it just we little little bit simplify this. So what are we gonna do next? For sure it's so hard to compare these numbers using this. So let's use a function. Okay, what function we're gonna do? We're gonna make from here. For sure, the function will be next. Natural log x over x. This is the same and this is the same. So this is our function. And we need to, to know an information about this function. What information? For sure, we need to know will be this function decreasing or, or will be increasing. So let's try to to know about this function. How can we do this? For sure using a derivative. So let's find f prime of x. This function, let's find, uh, find f prime of x. So we have a fraction. So f prime of x will be equal to x square in denominator and on the top we'll get derivative L natural log x 1 over x times x minus f prime of x 1 times natural log of x. Let's try to simplify this a little bit. It will be equal to 1 minus natural log of x over x square. This is our derivative. So what we're gonna do next? We just need to write an equation with our derivative and this these should be equal to zero because we need to know information about this function. It will be decreasing or increasing and then we just find the answer. So one minus natural log x all over x square equal to zero. For sure the solution 1 minus natural log x equal to 0, natural log x equal to 1, x equal to e. And this is solution 
to our derivative. So, what we're gonna do next? I want to suggest you one interesting method. Okay, let's write something like that. For sure, we have the first dot, the first point, zero, and the next point we will have E. And let's check our function right here, in this part and in this part. So let's put, for example, 1 from here, right here, 1 minus natural log 1 over x squared, so right here we will have plus, and right here we will have natural log, we will have plus as well. So right here we will have plus. So our function right here is increasing. Let's check our function right here. So let's put, for example, 10. It will be equal. So 10 square plus in, in denominator. And on the top we will get 1 minus natural log 10. It will be 2, 2. 1 minus 2. It will be minus, minus over plus. It will be minus. So it will be an increasing, decreasing part, sorry. So, and this part, our function increasing, and after e, our function decreasing. So, right here, we will have 2022, right here, we will have 2023, and for sure, if our function decreasing, this value will be bigger than that. I try to draw in a little bit graph, so if we have, for example, decreasing, I don't know how this function looks like, but for example, increasing part, E, and decreasing part. For sure, if we right here we will have 2022, and right here we will have 2023, then this value will be bigger than that. So y first will be bigger than y second, because the function is increasing, decreasing, sorry. Yeah, so using this logic we can write that this will be equal to, will be more than this, and this will be more than this. So, if you like this method, write a suggestion in a comment, maybe you find a, a little bit quicker solution to this, but I think this is a really good uh, solution because we remember our derivative and solve this interesting question. So, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and see you in the next videos.